recognize Ms. Green from Georgia for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I think we should all refresh our memories today and remember history and who has caused the political violence here in Washington, D.C. by remembering how many times D.C. Metro Police were deployed for dangerous riots. In 2020, where Antifa and BLM rioters violently raged continuously, even nearly burning down the city, hundreds of police officers were injured and rioters destroyed millions of dollars in property. Riots went to such extreme levels in Lafayette Park that Secret Service forced President Trump into the White House bunker. But all of the extreme left-wing violence didn't just start in 2020. No, it started in 2017 on President Trump's inauguration day. But all you hear about is a three-hour riot on one single day, January 6, 2021. So let's talk about violent criminals and justice. Chief Conti, you've said what we've got to do if we really want to see homicides go down is keep bad guys with guns in jail. When they are in jail, they can't be in communities shooting people. Keep violent people in jail. Is that right, yes or no? Yes. Thank you. Mayor Bowser, do you agree with Chief Conti? Yes or no? Yes, until people serve their sentences. Yes, you agree they should stay in jail. Thank you very much, Mayor. Mr. Graves, you are the U.S. Attorney for the District of Columbia. You have the unique ability to prosecute both local and federal cases. However, Mr. Graves, your office has declined to prosecute 67% of those arrested in 2022, which means they can't stay in jail like Chief Conti is demanding after his police officers do the hard work of arresting these criminals. Instead, you are solely focused on prosecuting January 6 cases from one single day in our history. Meanwhile, D.C. crime is up. Total crime is up 27% from last year. Carjacking up 114%. Murders up 11%. Sexual abuse is up 45%. Property crime is up 30%. And just yesterday morning, a little innocent 12-year-old girl was shot while sleeping in her own bed by another rampant, violent criminal who has probably been previously arrested and not prosecuted. What do you think a resident in Anacostia is more afraid of? Their child catching a stray bullet on Monday or a grandma walking through the Capitol more than two years, two years ago? Mr. Graves, your decision to not prosecute 67% of the crimes in D.C. is absolutely criminal itself. People who are charged with murder have been arrested on average 11 times before because you refuse to keep them in jail like Chief Conti is demanding. You have already abused your position by maliciously prosecuting at least 1,000 people from January 6, but you recently announced that you're going to arrest at least 1,000 more. Let me remind everyone the manner in which you go about your January 6 prosecutions. A man named Matthew Perna, who had no criminal record, peacefully entered the Capitol through an open door on January 6. He stayed inside roughly 20 minutes. He didn't assault anyone, not a police officer, anyone. He didn't damage any property. He fully cooperated with the FBI and eventually pled guilty to all charges. But right before his sentencing, you, Mr. Graves, asked the judge for more time to object to the pre-sentence report, by the way, while you weren't prosecuting many of the crimes in D.C. This was so that, that you could ask for at least a few more years in prison for the guy that walked around in the Capitol for 20 minutes, not assaulting anyone. And this is what you've done repeatedly, over and over, for those who've pled or have been convicted on January 6th. Well, two weeks later, Matthew Perna hung himself in his garage Mr. Graves, he was 37 years old. On March 9th, 2022, you dropped the case against Matthew Perna because he was dead. The time for weaponizing the Department of Justice needs to come to an end. 
and because you refuse to prosecute real criminals that are, are violating all the crimes here in Washington, D.C., and you want to talk about D.C. residents, they are victims of your abuse of power. And because of that, I am introducing articles of impeachment on you, Mr. Graves, and I yield back the remainder of my time.